Hey guys, Flatbed 101 with Mike here. We are at Rocky Mountain Steel in Pueblo, Colorado. We're gonna get a tarped load of, uh, we call them slinkies. What they are is rolls of wire. And then that's a whole bunch of them out there if you can see. You'll see better once I get the load, um, but that's why we call them slinkies because they look like giant fucking slinkies. So, first things first, trailer preparation, okay? Uh, when you get here, you come up and you pull up to this stop sign right here and you see they've got wood stacked right there. So you take your four of those lumbers right there and then you lay them out just like that. You got two coil racks, two pieces of lumber. We got one at the front of the trailer and then we got one back here at the back of the trailer. And then they'll help you place them. Once you get around, they tell you where they want you to go to get loaded. They'll help you place them uh, wherever they want them because you only need one in the front and one in the back and then all the middles will be fine. Now we're gonna have to do something special with these straps called butterflying our straps. And I'll show you how to do that once I get loaded. Um, <clears throat> so for now, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna wait for the forklift to come and get us and tell me where I need to go and get loaded. And then I'll show you how to, uh, I'll show you how to butterfly these straps and then I'll, I'll show you how to tarp it and everything because this one's gotta be tarp going to Van Buren, Arkansas. So, till then, see you then. All right, guys, we're back. Um, so we got most of the way secured. This is what it looks like. This is what we call this butterflying our straps. They're crisscrossed on the inside. And I'm gonna show you really quick on one, how to do it. It's not hard. Let's see me, see me, if I put that right there. Maybe. So what we're gonna do is we're on the back side here. So we're gonna take our strap and we're gonna throw it right through. Just like that. And then we're gonna hook it. Just like we normally would. And you notice we're making sure we're not next to a pipe stake. Because if we're next to a pipe stake, it's gonna cut it. So we wanna be next to a spool. We're gonna go through the back. And then we're gonna go to the other side. I'll set you right there. You can probably see. Then we're gonna grab our roll. We're gonna make sure there's no twists or anything like that. We're gonna go right back through the one in front of it. Just like that. And so you can see, that's where we went through the first time. This is where we went through the second time. And then we're gonna come back around to the other side. It's kind of a pain when you're by yourself, but if you got two people, it's really, really easy because you can just kind of toss it back and forth. And then now we're back at the other side. We're gonna grab our roll. Again, we're gonna make sure there's no twists in it at all. Pull it tight, and we're gonna throw it right back through the same hole we went through the first time. Okay? And so what we end up with is this X. And it just kind of wraps around, and it makes it all one piece. <clears throat> and uh, so we get done with that, and then we're gonna come back to this side, make sure there's no twists in it, and then we'll take this part, and we'll actually raise it up to the center part where it's thinnest, right here. And then we'll go right through the rub rail just like that and hook it down there, which I'll do in a minute. Um, on the back side, what you wanna do, so you've got your center light, and what you'll notice is that all the ones in the back, so this one, and this one, and this one, and that one, they're all pulling forward. All the ones in the front, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one, are all pulling to the back, or straight down. Um, that's to kind of pull everything to center, makes everything work like it's supposed to. And then on the front and back, you want to have one strap that kind of goes straight across the front one just to kind of finish it out. Now what this does, it's called butterflying your straps, and what it does is it uh, takes all of these uh, slinkies um, and it basically attaches them all together so it's one big load and then pulls it all down is what it does. Um, we're done with that now. Um, he's finishing up that last one that I just showed you. And then uh, we'll be back to tarp it. All right guys, really quick. We have the back tarp on and it's just the same as we always do. We set our corners and you can see where our top of our flap is right there. Come down and you wanna pull it so that it wraps around the thing. And we went down here and then came back up to it to pull it in. Three bungees across the back, this guy to hold it in place, and then we uh, 
and then we L pattern up because that's what it takes. Sometimes you'll do a V, sometimes you'll do an X, but in this case, we're doing an L pattern because that's what fits. All right, I'll give you some images of the finished product when we're done. All right, guys, we are done. Let me show you the finished product. Looks pretty beautiful if I do say so myself. Front end looks good. Going back. Now we had to do some interesting things here. Um, I showed you the back end. Hey, you can't see me because of the freaking sun. Um, so as always, we put the sides in first because uh, the wind blows that way. And then um, we just wrap those around. Now my, my, I have one lumber tarp that only has three rows of D-rings and I got one that's got four. Um, here's a lesson. If you custom order eight foot drop lumber tarps, get four rows of D-rings. Because the one with four rows is this one at the back where I get to do the L pattern because there's a nice row of D-rings up there. And then the one with three rows is this one on the front that barely fucking fit and I almost didn't get to use it. And that happens quite a lot actually. So, um, but we made it work and it worked out pretty good. And we just did the front just like we normally would. We came so far forward that our flaps and that our uh, sides to the inside and came around that way. Made it really nice and tight. So, looks good. Looks damn good, if I do say so myself. Um, that's pretty much it. If there's any questions or comments or anything, uh, feel free to ask comments. Uh, put it in the comments or message me or whatever. So, all right, guys. Here's a final view of the finished product. Looks pretty freaking good, if I do say so myself. So there you go. Take it easy, guys. Peace.